I need athletes from non-traditional sports to shut up. I think that's for, that's the level that we've reached. Whether it's Noah Lyles in track and field or a quarterback of a flag football league. This may be one of the dumbest takes I've ever heard. It continues to go on, too, just for some unbelievable reason. This is dumber than Tyreek Hill thinking he could beat Noah Lyles in a race. There's a world that exists where Tyreek Hill probably could have. Yeah, it's the one where Noah Lyles gets injured. But Noah Lyles would absolutely pump Tyreek Hill in a race. I want to and it, it would not be close. It would not. Everybody would be like, oh, that's bad. Mm. It. We saw like uh, the DK Metcalf when he ran the 100. Mm. That wasn't against the world's fastest man. No. And, and he ran really well. But he would get smoked by a an Olympic sprinter, like a f- Olympic sprinter in the finals. This is even more dumb that this man actually believes this. Uh, quarterback Daryl Doucette, uh, this is uh, from TMZ Sports, uh, had this to say about, uh, well, just, just listen. At the end of the day, I feel like I'm better than Patrick Mahomes because of my IQ of the game. I know he's... Right now, the best in the league. I know he's more accurate. I know he has all these intangibles. But when it comes to flag football, I feel like I know more than him. So the guy that has to make reads against the biggest humans on the planet in split seconds or die has got a worse IQ than the guy that's playing out and can't be touched. Sure, Dan. One of the things that makes Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, so impressive is how smart they are. And their ability to, to say to that your football IQ is better than Patrick Mahomes. Now he says at flag football, I don't care. Like these guys have never run Skelly. They don't do seven on seven. <laughs> your sport is what they do in their off time. Yeah, you know what? If anything else, if where he may be correct is that he can throw a ball without worrying about his receiver dying. But you know what Patrick Mahomes and Joe Burrow will do? They'll thread that needle. You think that that they don't see tight windows in the NFL? They will put it on a receiver far better than a flag football quarterback will. And also, Daryl Doucette is five foot seven. Mm. We're <laughs> this is like the most little man syndrome mm-hmm. thing I have ever seen. Because the only way that, and I am not saying that Daryl Doucette is not a a capable and really good quarterback, but he is saying this is where I thrive because I don't have to worry about standing behind an offensive line and not being able to see over the O line. And I bet he can process very well, but you can't do it better than these guys. You're not. You, it would take Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes a month to figure this out and your arm is not stronger than those guys arm you are not more accurate than those guys are your football iq is not higher than those guys and that is not taking away how good of a flag football quarterback he is but you're not those guys you're talking about the top one percent of the one percent i I understand the differentiation between football and flag football the flag football folks out here pretending that they somehow are going to be better flag football players than the actual football players. That one of them was like, what? Uh, said something. I think it was about Jamar Chase. Like, oh, he's Jamar Chase think he's going to show up just be better than me? It's like, yes. Yeah. The thing that you guys do is the thing that they do in their downtime. <laughs> it's just, it's an all-time take by this guy because he he does feel threatened because you have guys like Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes saying, if I could go get it, win a gold medal, I would love to go they win a gold medal. They could show up in L.A. and they would run away with it. Yeah. They run absolutely away with would. It. They absolutely 100%. Put Joe would. Burrow and Jamar Chase and just watch. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> see, see everything that you have built and just watch it crumble really quickly. I mean... There is a difference in flag pulling and evading in flag football. Mm -hmm. It is different than in the NFL. Sure. I'm taking those guys 10 times out of 10. 10 out of 10. I could go with an all-rookie team. Golly. Give me me Caleb Williams and Roma Dunze, A.D. Mitchell, Mm -hmm. 
Uh, who's a who's a running back that we just had taken? Um, early running back. Boy, I can't even remember. The Texas kid was first running yeah, back off the board. And he's right? he's he's a every down back too. So him, Bijan Robinson. I'm I'm saying just from just from this class. I mean, you can oh. you can be Bijan in the open field. Good. You imagine Bijan Robinson in flag football? Well, I mean, Ugh. I would. You just take one of the best receive third down backs in the NFL and just say yeah. done. Yeah, you you give me a receiving Good back. Luck. Give me Jameer Gibbs, and yeah. I'm yes. I, I'm winning a gold medal. Yeah. Good yeah. luck. Like, everyone's like, oh, well, there's no, you know, you don't have to worry about getting hit. I'm like, yeah, Jameer Gibbs is going to 4-4 you into the ground. Yeah, yeah. Stop on a dime and just make you look silly. Even the guys like, you know, Trey Benson, the the Texas running back, yeah. or Blake Corum, the Michigan running mm-hmm. back. Put him, either either one. Not the guys that you would traditionally say, these are the receiving running Put backs. Put A.D. Mitchell oh, on a slant on one side, and Roma Dunze on a post on the other, and go, have fun. No, you just send <laughs> Christian McCaffrey as your running back. You can line him up at receiver. It this would be unfair. Yeah, I. It will be unfair. Like you're ta- even if we sent Darnell Doucette. but if we can, we're gonna send Patrick Mahomes or Joe Burrow. It would be hilarious. <laughs> it would just be. It would just be Patrick Mahomes behind the back. Think about the passes that Patrick Mahomes would pull out of his backside. Unbelievable. Have you seen the clip that's been floating around of Dan Marino? No. He's it, because of the Mahomes behind the back pass. There's a clip of Marino before a game throwing a spinning backhand, like a reverse kind of discus. Oh, nice. Throwing it backwards without looking on a dime, like 35 yards downfield to a guy waiting in the end zone who doesn't move. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> okay. Can you do that? So, yeah, th- these guys are these guys are freaks. <sighs> but he is the best flag football quarterback. He is. He's just waiting for a shot. Mm. You we're all going to see when he's backing up Patrick Mahomes in the Olympics. <laughs> I would love it if he's out there bringing him his water. That would <laughs> That would be so brutal. Here you go, him. Mr. Mahomes. Sorry. And you know Patrick Mahomes, he he tweeted out a 50 cent gift gif as in response to this and that's more of a response than i thought he needed to give but it it just i mean it reinforced it all it just kind of body bagged him just like the what me me you're talking yeah, talking about me how did i get drug into this man i just I, you know i'm better than you i love the audacity to lie so egregiously about <laughs> being having a higher iq than him oh my gosh but lie better dude yeah Hey, you know he, I he, they may have to pick up blitzes, but I I do everything else. Yeah, so. no big deal. <laughs> whatever. It's whatever.